Britain's post-Brexit plans to take back control of its waters could lead to a new cod war with Iceland, a labour historian and author has claimed. The EU's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier has urged member states to come up with a compromise on fishing rights to present to Britain, as trade talks reach their most delicate phase. The advice was made at a meeting of member state envoys on Wednesday, in which Mr. Barnier also insisted Brussels will hold firm on negotiation priorities such as state aid and the governance mechanism of the final deal. Fishing rights are a main concern for countries sharing seas with Britain, the Netherlands, Belgium, Denmark, Germany and especially France, which has taken the toughest line on the issue. Mr. Barnier told the envoys, if we want an agreement, we will also need to find agreement on fish. We need a compromise that we would float to the UK as part of a total agreement. In negotiations, the European side has so far insisted that its vessels continue to enjoy unfettered access to UK waters, even after a post-Brexit transition phase that ends on December 31st. However, Britain wants this access limited significantly and haskled for fishing rights in its waters to be renegotiated every year, a demand that, according to sources close to the talks, the EU will refuse. As the clock ticks down and tensions are set to rise, in an exclusive interview with Express, Labour historian and author Greg Rosen claimed Britain is faced with an even bigger challenge regarding fishing. Mr Rosen argued the cod wars with Iceland could return once the UK leads the EU's Common Fisheries Policy CFP, as disputes will once more arise over who can fish in international waters. He said, a very substantial challenge UK fishing fleets have faced over the last 50 years or longer has been regarding their access to disputed waters claimed by Iceland. The successive cod wars, there have been three, are testament to that. Because Iceland was able to use its leverage in NATO during the Cold War, Britain found itself in a very difficult position and had to give in. Mr Rosen noted, the most popular fish, as I understand it, remains cod. And so one of the biggest challenges remains how this will be negotiated under the UN Convention. International tensions over fishing date back to the 19th century when steam trawlers started venturing further away from Britain in search of fish. Unfortunately, the fishing boom caused by improvements in technology started affecting fish stocks, making it harder and harder to get fish. For this reason, British boats sought new waters nearer Iceland, which in turn started resenting the UK for depleting its own stocks. In 1952, Iceland declared a four-mile zone around their country to stop excessive foreign fishing. The UK hit back by banning the import of Icelandic fish. 